please give a warm welcome for Brock Mueller. Christmas Eve, 2007. My parents, my younger brother Elliot, his girlfriend Hollis Reeker, and I were, were driving to church. Out of nowhere, a car ran a stop sign, crashing into us. My father, my hero, David Paul Mueller, and Hollis died that night. I endured eight and a half hours of surgery. When I awoke, the surgeon came into my room with more devastating news. My spinal cord damage was about the worst she had ever seen. She said that I would likely never walk again and that even, that even a 1% chance was overly optimistic. But that 1% was all I needed. Through it all, I had faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> I believed in myself and strived to make that 1% a reality. Truthfully, God made that 1% a reality. His will, not mine. He blessed me with football coaches, Rich and Mike, who gave me a fighting chance. His blessings enabled me to graduate from the Ohio State University. And I went on, <laughs> I went on to be cheered by University of Michigan fans as I led the Wolverines onto the field. <laughs> he blessed me with my beautiful wife, Haley. We walked down the aisle together. He gave me countless other blessings. This very moment, for me, is a testament to God working all things for the good. <laughs> and guess who else was told that he had a 1% chance a company that analyzes polling data for CNN predicted last year that Donald Trump had a 1% chance of winning the Republican nomination for president. <laughs> Mr. Trump, welcome to the club. <laughs> I defied the odds, but I couldn't do it on my own. Donald Trump can't do it alone either. He needs our help and support. Just as Michigan was willing to adopt the Buckeye, for a cause greater than ourselves, we can unite behind Donald Trump to make America one again. <laughs> now, I want to turn it over to a fellow Ohio State graduate who really knows how to unite a team, Coach Bobby Knight. I'm proud to be a part of Team Trump working toward making America the greatest there is. As a coach, my main objective was to win, and I know Donald Trump will always have winning on his mind. 